What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I seen the title was going down. Make sure I hit the like button, the subscribe button. Definitely appreciate everybody tuning in, watching, you know, these reactions, these videos. Um, deeply apologize. I know I say don't apologize, but I apologize. You feel me? If my um, baby girl is a little loud, um, a little fussy, a little fussy. Um, but um, let's get a video. Donald Trump talk uses phrases like you're going to. He's going to eviscerate the Constitution. He's going to be a dictator on day one. I can't think of any other time in my lifetime, in history has occurred, that you've had somebody who's had this kind of attitude. Oh, man. Kamala is backing up Joe's fear flex. Had it or hit it, Donald Trump totally had it. Had it. Had it over and over and over again. There's so much at stake in this election. I don't think it's hyperbolic to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. You're right. Did you just ask Kamala if she'd sleep with Trump? I That's what I was, I was sitting here and I was like, huh? Like, I'm... Right. <laughs> I heard that. Okay. Had it or hit it? Okay. But Trump is not letting those attacks slide. The former president out in Georgia, where he's got a hero's welcome at chick Look how happy they are, though. Like, look how happy, and I'm not, it, it, this ain't got nothing to do with Cola. Look how happy they are. It doesn't matter. Look how happy they are. They're happy. They're excited, you know. They're not sitting there being nonchalant, all this and that. Everybody got smiles on their face. In Atlanta, and ordered 30 milkshakes for customers who apparently are not lactose intolerant like me. He unleashed the whole arsenal on the Biden regime. That's we dope. are a nation in decline. Biden is the worst president in the history of our country. He's corrupt and he's incompetent. He can't put two sentences together. And I think we're going to have a tremendous victory. I predict that November 5th will go down as the most important day in the history of our country. He's done more damage than the 10 worst presidents in the history of our country. There has never been anybody that's damaged our country like crooked Joe Biden. Had it or hit it. Apparently, uh, Donald Trump is no Willie Brown, Dana. <laughs> um, so, do you think, uh, they don't think it's hyperbolic uh, to say this genuinely could be the last Democratic election we ever have. <laughs> Maybe it's me, because uh, I was an English major, but isn't that the definition of hyperbolic? I, I, I think you're right. <laughs> Actually, when, you know what, the next time we play our D-block game, yeah. coming up, folks, that's a deep tease, uh, I will have you <laughs> as my partner. Mm. Um, okay, so they have been talking about protecting democracy for a long time, right? And they've been saying all of this about Donald Trump. And I'm assuming that they did that, one, because they believe it, and also because it probably pulls well for them, mm -hmm. for their base, which they still need to lock up. But the problem is, right now, they've squeezed all the juice out of that lemon. Mm -hmm. And President Trump and Donald, uh, sorry, Donald Trump and Joe Biden are tied on yeah. who will protect democracy. So I don't know how much more they're going to be able to do on that one. The other point is you have this really weird dynamic with Biden where in the days leading up to the State of the Union, there were leaks from his administration that he was going to issue some executive orders on immigration in order to get the border under control. Then the night before the State of the Union, they said, actually, no, yeah. he's not doing that. And it's because the Republicans didn't pass the bill. And what did we find then four weeks later? Now we are back to he is likely possibly maybe going to do this executive order because he realizes how bad it is and that's how you get to a 70 percent disapproval on the border and my last point is uh it's the economy stupid and when you have an inflation report like the one you had this morning you will get to inflation economy are you better off for year than today than you were four years ago on the cost of your groceries the cars the gas all of that that's what this election is going to come down to. I think you really hit it. <laughs> uh, Jesse, I'd love to go to some sound on tape. Please. Mm. And then I will come to you after that. Let's roll that, Gladys. <laughs> We're examining whether or not I have that power. There's no, there's no guarantee that I have that power all by myself without legislation. And some are suggesting I should... It seems like you don't have a lot of energy. That's what's like... It's scary, man. Y'all... People, people are so, I don't know, people are so in denial about stuff. Let's go ahead and try it. And if I get shut down by the court, I get shut down by the court. But we're trying to work that, work through that right now. Jesse, this is an amazing comparison uh, between a leader and a, and a non-leader. Uh, when China 
released, got that virus out. You didn't hear Trump go, let's talk about shutting down the border. Let's get it. He actually acts. This guy goes, you know, let's have a conversation. Let's uh, talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. And then and then nothing happens. And then he returns to it. This guy can't act. Jessica sitting over there so mad, y'all. Well, he can act when he wants to. Yeah. He acted on bailing out students for their loans. But now he's, I, I think he's just buying time. Because he's been debating in his head what he's been doing about this. This is just to kind of entice people to get them all excited about it. But those cameras at Univision made Joe look old. Mm -hmm. Those were bad cameras. I would never do another Univision again. And he was squinting. I mean, he looks 100 years old yeah. in that shot. That was not a he's good not look. He's not a good 80. No, he's not, it's a, that's an old 80. Yes. Yes. He, they keep saying he's going to end democracy. And I hang around with a lot of liberals. My family's liberals. Even my mother doesn't think he's going to end democracy. This talking point only exists on MSNBC. You can tell, like, it's eating her alive right now. Like, look at, look at no this. No one cause... ever even comes up to Johnny on the streets. It's and hard. Say, it's hard. Trump's the truth. a dictator is going to end democracy. I I've never heard this anywhere except on cable news. It's not sinking in. And if anybody's a threat to democracy, we can play that game. It's Joe Biden. I mean, his buddies at the CIA and FBI interfered in the last election. They're still blocking investigations into the Biden crimes. So if it, I, don't, I don't like playing that game. I don't think that game is effective. I agree with Dana. This is about the economy. Stupid. The Chick-fil-A event. This was an event to behold. Now, everything you've heard about Donald Trump in the press is that he's like this dangerous racist. He waltzes in there, yeah, orders food, smiles. and about a dozen African-American women flock to him and take selfies. And I, I said, I, I didn't even bring up the, you know, what color are you? I didn't bring up that. But the fact that not only are the African-American, it's African-American women. And it's, you know, some men in the back, but... That's amazing. It just shows you the progress that is coming about, you know, and the, I didn't even notice this. It's in Atlanta. It's in Atlanta, y'all. Come on. Come on. American women, the most loyal voting block of the Democratic Party. Love he it. has them giggling. Uh, he has them lining up. He says, Mom, I'm famous now. It, it, it all love in the Chick-fil-A. Now, if he can just do this, I would run the Chick-fil-A campaign. That's a great idea. I would just go to as many restaurants, grocery stores, malls as I could Absolutely. and just have regular Americans swarm him, embrace him and love wow. him. And that is what is going to win him the election. Like Tiffany. And Chick fil A is, you know, Chick, Chick fil A is that, that, that they on top right now. Chick fil A food is so far. I'm, I'm, I'm not even, I've been, I've been watching these last past few months though. Um, I only cook, I cook every day. Um, Chris and the girls, they'll eat out every once in a while, but, um, I typically cook every day, but I do have to say between, uh, we got Cadoba, um, if I'm saying that right, Chipotle and Chick-fil-A, my favorite, uh, I guess you can say fast food type. Who's Tiffany? Joe wouldn't do that because he's chicken. Because he's chicken. Yes. You are what you Look at Jessica. Y'all see that? Joe wouldn't Why do didn't you say it? Because he's chicken. Because he's chicken. Yes, you are what you eat. Hey, uh, Judge. So it, 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 I think the, did, uh, the VP claim that she met with 150 world leaders and they all expressed concern mm -hmm. about That's... this. Do you buy that? Do you uh, buy what she's selling? No, never, <laughs> never have, never will. Uh, no, I, I don't even give it a lot of thought. Look, the, the whole idea, and I, I just want to continue with that theme for a minute, of, of Donald Trump being a threat to democracy. I mean, who is it that, as Jesse said, weaponized the DOJ, the CIA, the FBI? You know, they've impeached him, they've indicted him, but the, they're the ones who were taking him off the ballot. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the Democrats who made up that political dossier that they took to a corrupt FISA court by a corrupt uh, attorney general and United States attorney to try to uh, spy on him. 
They were spying on a candidate for president of the United States. This is done in third world countries. And by the way, I will segue very smoothly into the fact that Joe Biden has made us a third world country. Never in the history of this country have I seen people, especially in New York City, living the way they're living now, where the illegals are coming here. We're greeting them on buses. We're flying them in. They give us this false, you know, I have to, I'm being persecuted. Give me asylum. We shake their hand. We give them a goodie bag. They come in. They take a goodie bag and they steal everything they can from CVS. They beat up the employees. At and that's what we should be doing for our our veterans that's out here. You know that that needs that help. Soon, soon as they you know get get out of that. You know they coming they coming back to the states. You know to live and they 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 contract is over. They're they're done. Why why don't you don't you greet them with that? Is there anything we can help you with right now at this time? Or if it is, reach out to us. We can do this. We can do that. We got this going on. We got this. I'm all for that. My brother served. Um, my brother served four years. Um, it was it was the scariest four years, um, honestly. Um, being, a, being a little bro um, is scary. You know, we three years apart, but it's scary. You know, um, it was definitely scary. He was in South Korea. That's where he was stationed. And it was scary. I ain't going to lie. Um, so... Um, and he, he go, you know, he goes through a lot of stuff still to this day, you know, and I, I say, you know, even the ones that weren't so much into, you know, I guess war and stuff like that. Um, I don't really know much about it, but I know that people that still was you go through a lot of mental issues with being there and coming out. And I've seen that, you know, with a lot, um, having buddies, you know, that served having a brother, you know, um, my dad even, you know, my dad has been a police officer for, I want to say 24 years, 24 years. So um, seeing him even go through stuff and he's been in the States, I mean, let alone you been in the Army or the Marines or, you know, the Navy, um, anything, Air Force, you know, going through stuff, you know, so. I don't know. You can't do nothing. At uh, Macy's, then they assault the police, resist arrest. There's a trail of destruction, economic devastation. And by the way, I don't think this issue got enough attention. Do you know that murders are down in Venezuela? Venezuela the hot, that more, the lowest they've been in 20 years. So maybe Donald Trump isn't so wrong about people <laughs> emptying out prisons because our crimes are going up and theirs are going down. down. And yeah. everything about what Joe Biden has done is defying the American law, whether it is entry to this country, staying here. And obviously, we've got to not only make sure that they are bailed whenever they're arrested, but we've got to deport them. Mm -hmm. You know, Jessica, in the green room, you said <laughs> that if Trump wins, it could be the end of all time and space. And what's worse, it will hurt women and minorities more. I did say that. Yes, you did. It's extreme <laughs> pregnancy fog, I guess, as I near the end of the line. Um, that was a very rich discussion. I'm going to. I'm sorry, Yar. It's... Never mind. I'm not going to say anything. Positive energy today, y'all. Try to address as many of the points as I possibly Just can. Just one. commercial <laughs> break in about 30 seconds. No, 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 no. Commercial break is when I am done with this. I like it. Jesse funny. Commercial <laughs> break in about 30 seconds. No, 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 no. Commercial break is when I am done with this. So the, the threat to democracy point is not working. And all of the good pollsters have made that point very clear to the Biden administration that actually the messaging that works is about the mundane stuff that people want to hear about lowering prescription drug prices and things like the debt and the deficit and preserving Medicare and Social Security, those are all encompassed in the economy, right? Like how you're doing and how your family's gonna survive looking ahead to the future. So that point is definitely out there. But to say that Joe Biden is the threat to democracy considering what Donald Trump and his band of lawyers tried to pull off in 2020 is complete insanity. I mean, he dispatched lawyers all over the country to overturn a free and fair election. A lot of them have pled out to doing this. A lot of them are still to face trial. And he's doing his darndest to make sure that he doesn't have to show up in any of these courtrooms because he's definitely afraid of what's going to happen there. And as many of these January 6th 
He's not participant. afraid of anything. Oh, big man, not afraid, whatever. I know him. Okay, not. I'm sure you, you do know him, and I don't know him, but I don't think that that man who doesn't want to even sleep in a hotel bed wants to go to jail. So don't refute what happened. We know about Sidney Powell. We know about John Eastman, who just got disbarred. The Rudy Gi So you say, you talk about somebody so bad, and you don't even know him. Somebody saying that they do know him and knowing how he, that's crazy, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like her. So I don't, I'm, I'm a person to tell y'all, like, Jessica is just, how could you be so, into, I'm going to let her finish. Liani, who's obviously not in very good position, how the mighty have fallen. But the point of this interview and doing it with Univision was about Latino support, right? And making sure that he shores that up. And he's down, he was up 29 points of Latinos the first year in office, and that edge is down to nine points. And that's due to the issues of inflation and crime. He's doing better on them, but he's obviously got ground to make up. And it's interesting that this came out yesterday and we had the ruling taking us back to 1864 in Arizona about abortion, because Latino votes in, in Nevada and Arizona are what are going to be really crucial there. 57% of Hispanics say abortion should be legal in all or most cases. And Donald Trump is out there defending his stance of, you leave it to the states. He did say today, I won't support a federal abortion ban. He has said before that he supports a 15 or 16 week ban. So I, I don't know if he's going to be consistent with that. But the Democrats are going to make that a centerpiece of this conversation, as they should. Yeah. 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 yeah that's it. Joe did not look good there. No, he looked bad. Y'all see how they ended that? Jessica is like, you know, how, you know how you have a friend group, y'all? And everybody is just excited. Everybody talking about something. Everybody just giddy. Like, yeah, yeah, laughing, joking around, making facts. Everybody just having this good energy. And then you have somebody talk. And everybody get quiet. And everybody look down at their phone in the group text like, what are they talking about? That's Jessica. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, but definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Thank y'all for everything. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next video. Catch y'all on the next one.